Hello YouTube, welcome back to my van's RV14 build. In this video, um, this is fuel tank number 15, we will be installing the end rib, um, the inboard most forward rib, the inboard most aft rib up top there won't get done until way later. Um, as well as the third most inboard rib. Uh, since this one's on the end, you can use the squeezer and it makes riveting these a lot easier, although not entirely without fail. I think I did mess one up and have to um, drill it out and put it back in later. I'm not positive, but eh. So, um, Unlike, and, and I apologize for the camera angle, you can't really see it, um, but um, unlike the interior tank ribs, um, where you want to just sort of make sure there's a fillet around, you know, on the edge, just so it's, it's you know, sealing the rivets in, but like around the nose where the space is between them, it doesn't matter because those are interior ribs, those, the, you know, that portion fuel is a lot, it should be allowed to pass between them if it wants. Um, but on the outboard most ribs, like this front one that we've got here, um, you have to form a very nice fillet of sealant um, between the skin and the um, Rib. Remember, because we're sealing from the inside toward the outside. We want to make sure fuel can't get past that first barrier. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure why I moved the camera over here. I must have been doing something. I think this is where I was trying to figure out what the best position um, of the tank is relative to the desk, or rather the bench. Um, in order for proper access, like I was talking about at the end of the last video. So, um, as you can see here, before we start, I'm getting the, the bench set up with a bunch of paper towels. Uh, I've used naphtha to get any residual oils off the rib and off of the skin where the rib is going to attach. And then we're going to mix up some sealant in a nice 10 to 1 ratio. Um, I have personally found that for a single rib, plus its fillets, plus its um, forbidden chocolate chips of covering the um, shop heads of the rivets, 25 grams of part A and 2.5 grams of part B make a very uh, leave. It, it, it's it's a, it's enough to get the job done, and it leaves me with. Um, a couple of grams of sealant left over in that mixture um, if I need it for anything else uh, on that particular rib. Uh, I don't know if I found, found out, you know, 25 was the right amount by this by this early in the job. I probably didn't, um, but by the end I realized that that's, that feels like the right amount for, for me to do it. Um, now, yeah, there's still a, a bit left on my plate there after I'm done, but I mean, realistically, it'll be doing a lot of uh, scooping and scraping to get it off there. That looks like Nick stopped by to say hi and see what I'm doing. So, yeah, I've definitely got the, uh, the positioning figured out in this one um, on what I want to do, and that's, you know, work from the flange stuff. Uh, side, not the flat side, so that way I'm not reaching over the flange and then passed to do the work. Um, and I, I, I'm pretty sure I messed up um, at least one or two, or I'm sorry, at least one out of every two of there's like three rivets on the uh, upper forward. Um, flanges of, of these that are very, very difficult to set by yourself. Um, and I think, I, I don't know again if it's, it was done on this one or, or not, but there are five interior ribs and I'm pretty sure 
I messed up at least two to three of them that I had to drill out and replace a rivet because I didn't like the quality of the shop head. Um, since then, I've now seen quite a few additional um, examples of terrible shop heads that are just fine. But this is my plane, and I want them to be better than just fine. So that means it'll probably take me longer to build, but that's my prerogative, isn't it? Anyway, um, I'm just gonna create the fillets in here and uh, create the forbidden chocolate chips on top of the shop heads. And then uh, we'll call this done and move on to the next couple of ribs. I think we might be accelerating, getting a little bit better at this. Talk to you later. Thanks for joining.